Greetings to everybody listening to me. And if this is your first time watching Vangtin Multimedia, please subscribe, like, share, and comment to get feedback from you. If this is your first time watching us, please subscribe, like, share, and comment to get feedback from you. The constructive feedback makes this a great channel. So please, they are very much welcome. Thank you. It makes us know that we, uh, there are people out there who like what we are doing. So please let them keep coming. The focus area of this YouTube channel is to educate, entertain, and inform. Vangtin Multimedia talks about safety, entrepreneurship, entertainment, and news. With this video, we would like to talk about safety at the workplace. Employees came to the workplace in one piece and employers must ensure that they go home in that same piece. Whichever place an employee finds himself, whether at the warehouse, laboratory or administration, safety must be our priority or the employee's priority and that of the employer. Safety when operating a machine or a forklift must be ensured putting on a safety belt and other things, other safety apparels which are referred to as PPEs must be adhered to. Ideally, the company must have a safety officer who will see to the daily safety of lives at the workplace. Please subscribe and share to get more content like this anytime you visit this channel. Now, let us listen to the conversation that transpired between a subordinate and his boss. Thank you very much. When we talk about the culture in an organization, it refers to the beliefs, activities, and expectations that guide our behaviors. Part of our culture is based on standards and a formal code of conduct that provide basic guidance on how people are expected to behave. I'm not sure I understand. Can you give me an example? Remember our discussion we had on people choosing to take risks? What do we mean by a safety culture? For me, that term is somewhat misleading. Our organization, each department, and to some extent even individual work teams, each have a unique culture. How they manage risk and safety is a part of that culture. The level of safety, or alternatively, the level of risk in any organization, is the product of that culture. Our leaders play an important role in shaping the culture of our organization. We like to think that a culture of sustainable safety is made up of individuals who value safety and actively manage their risks every day. And as I said a few minutes ago, the second is that each individual feels responsible for the safety of their coworkers as well as themselves. While we all certainly care about each other, without action it is simply passive caring. The third characteristic is that each individual is willing and able to go beyond the call of duty on behalf of the safety of others. I met with each employee on my shift individually to talk about the vision, what it means to me personally, and to get their thoughts on what it means and how it should impact them every day. It was also important for me to learn who depended on them to be safe every day. That must have taken some time. Can you give me an example? A moment ago, we were talking about operating forklifts. An important behavior for the operator is to wear a seatbelt whenever the forklift is being operated, no exceptions. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we will talk about making our personal commitment. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. We appreciate you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Please subscribe and share this very much. We thank you. Bye.